Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. And I was wondering, and then the vision started zooming the people close to me, and those in front started crying. And they were beckoning on me. And I said, what is wrong? And these were their words. They said, no food and no water. I was so touched. I said, why? Who is the cause? And they pointed their hands at me. I said, me? Why would I do such kind of evil against you? And I made up my mind. I said, I'm coming to rescue you. But I was afraid. And then I made up my mind. I said, I will go. If I perish, I perish. As soon as I opened that door, there was a giant gray bearded man who was waiting for me and he picked my little hand and said I will walk with you and he said let's go now I know it's the Holy Spirit you see listen all you see is not all there is there is a throne that backs men that produces this extraordinary dimensions of result did you verify your backing before you started you only verified your message did you verify your backing. Did you verify? Did you verify that every time you prophesy there is an anointing to make it happen? Or do you just believe it will happen because it happens for others? No. It is what God told you that you would defend in the open. Hallelujah. I remember in one of those visions I was in a dark place it was like a community just like a, maybe a curfew and there were people seated sick people dejected weak people and i was passing among them i said i was crying i said what kind of disaster is this and i heard a voice from the spirit and he says to heal them all every one of those encounters came with anointings i've shared with you my encounter in reinhard bonke's crusade traveled down to joss when he came for his crusade I stood the first day for a long time he had preached. I was a man of God, but I had to shelve that thing. You don't receive from a man of God as a man of God. This is the problem with our arrogant generation. We are desperate for graces at our own terms. Hallelujah. I remember by the second day, I had prayed and prepared. I said, Lord, that which you have put upon this man, simple teachings nothing no extraordinary revelation anywhere but tremendous power i said lord what have you granted this man i remember six hours standing upon that field from 3 p.m till 9 p.m and i stood there as a man of god i made up my mind that i was not just going to stand i wanted to serve i saw them wheeling people from wheelchairs taking and i said please let me join they said i'm not part of the committee i said what committee i came here with hunger i must walk let me serve god and serve that grace i remember pushing some of the people to the front and i said lord this is how it will be in my meetings also and without all contradiction the lesser is blessed of the greater listen i stood there you've heard my story i stood there close to a pregnant woman Sometimes the woman will be tired and lean on me and you know, and you know in the crusades you don't sit down, you stand. I was almost saying, Madam, please, we all came here to receive too. This one that small time you'll be. But I was determined. Most people are not hungry enough to receive. There is a hunger level where there are no more excuses. Listen, Reinhard Bonke had finished preaching. Very simple message. Can't even remember what he preached. And then he was going to take a cup of water to now minister the baptism and something happened <laughs> my eyes were open and i saw the first manifestation of the holy ghost i saw a giant bird this is what i saw having like silvery bands it was not it was soaring not flying hovering around the entire auditorium i thought everybody was seeing it but I was the only one who was seeing it and I saw just moving round moving round 
and the Holy Spirit took me to Genesis chapter 1 from verse 2 and 4 and the Spirit hovered round the face of the waters and that was when God told me the union between the spoken word and the movement of the Spirit is what produces the miraculous it came by revelation listen by the time I was back to myself I had turned and backed the stage I did not even know when I turned I knew that something had landed are we together when I had the honor of going to pray in daddy Geo's prayer room I've told you as a man of God when I was there I was not asking for nonsense the stupid thing to be asking for things at that point as I locked myself there I said God you gave gifts to men men rise by the impartation of God through men what did you place upon this man that granted him grace across the nations Lord this is what I'm praying for and Jabez cried unto God there is a way you get angry with your current level I'm sharing this we are products of many graces I remember when God gave me an instruction to carry a seed and rise and go to Canaan land I remember that I went there when I when I got there after I did what I would do I came out and the Holy Ghost told me to place my hand on the ground the ground there Canaan land I placed it on the ground there and he said from this day you have entered the overflow anointing one night I went to preach for a particular ministry and then I saw them I saw us entering MFM prayer city I said thank you Jesus the, for me they were going to keep me in the guest house because where I was going to preach for was close to MFM there and so they kept me at the prayer city I said thank you Jesus when I had finished and all the convoy and protocol went I woke up late in the night and I went quietly there and said Lord you gave gifts to men whatever is needed in this place to be added for this assignment let it land hallelujah let me tell you a story that I've not said here in a long time in fact I've never even said it I traveled to a particular nation many years ago and then they happened to keep me in a room where then now Prince Charles had been, had been kept in that place too and the king of Zulu had been kept in that place too and when they kept me there I woke up in the night and I was praying I said Lord influence has a grace that there, there are graces that enthrone men as kings the Bible says that we have been made unto our God kings and priests now that I've had the privilege to come here I this is not about physical royalty that I use it as a point of contact is there any grace you see we don't always say the things that we do but let me tell you make no mistakes about it results are controlled by mysteries are we together yes one of the last anointings surprisingly to land upon this ministry is the grace for wealth and abundance you will be surprised we started well and sincerely but that grace was not there struggling after every crusade in debt and, and, and you know you, you can imagine how embarrassing that is so when I talk to you about resources I'm not talking stupidly I know what I'm saying I've told you where you are preaching on a crusade ground shouting Jesus is Lord and the people you are owing also are on the crusade ground too waiting for the crusade to finish and let them say where's our money and I had to say there, there must be a way out like this if you continue ministry that way you will stand at the corridors of compromise listen I will quickly share with you some things and when I do one of the things I'm going to do tonight is to just pray that some graces will rest upon your destiny this night in the name of Jesus Christ I told you our possibilities are controlled by the graces that we carry I remember one night when I was watching the video of William Branham I was watching his video on my laptop quietly seated in a room and I was looking at the man and hearing him talk such a such a, a dispense of humility 
and I was saying, look at people mocking this man, you know, because at the end of his life, he brought some teachings that people were not comfortable with. And they just carried the baby and the bad water and everybody, even those who are not one tenth his dimension, criticizing him. And as I stood there and I was watching that video, something happened to me. It was like a cold sensation just landed on my head and started going down my body over a period of 30 minutes or so. I remember, I think the next meeting I was going to have was in Kaduna or so. And I got into that meeting and it was like a joke. I started delving deeper into dimensions of the prophetic that surprised me. What grace have you ignored because of ignorance? In 2007, I had a vision. And in that vision, I saw God's servant, Bishop Oedeko, and I was going to sow into his life. And I was going to sow into his life. And then when I sowed into his life, he said, there's still some more. And I brought out some of the money and I sold. And I remember he took me to a room in that vision. As soon as we opened the door, I saw the room and there were several currencies there. And I was asked to pick. And I said, what is this? Surprisingly, there was no lust or attachment. You know how you say, ah, uh, what, what they call it now? That you just jump and start. Mm -mm. I just picked a few of them. And that was it and when I came out I had the audible voice of God and that opened me up to a new dimension listen brothers and sisters I'm saying this to you so that you will ask tonight what is yet to land on my head that is making my life this way there has to be something left as for the spirit of revelation that one came directly from Jesus that when he appeared to me I've been blessed by several people across the body right from when we started, you know, Grace's books that I read, E.W. Kenyon, Kenneth Hagin, and all these great men. But in that encounter, that light that left Jesus and entered into me, it was like a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. Hear me. Your prophetic will remain like a lie until grace really comes on you some of you are called into the ministry of kingdom financing but your hand is empty because the only thing you are thinking about is business in this realm of financial dominion it takes more than business believe me there is there is a there is there is a a relationship with the holy ghost my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands Yeshua Hear me. There are many of you here. The missing link is the grace for influence. God has anointed you, but you cannot reach those He has sent you to. Because Esther, once you are in Shushan, you cannot reach the king. Joseph, once you are in prison, you cannot reach Herod. Daniel, once you are down, you cannot be able to save Babylon. There are mantles and ministries that require you to rise to a level of visibility where those you are sent to can hear you. Hear me. There are some of you, there are levels of resources you need to have access to because the people God is sending you to, you will need resources as a leverage to compel their hearing. That realm is the realm beyond buying and selling. Hmm. 
these are realms where you transact realities from the realm of the spirit in addition to whatever value it is that you provide please hear me tonight's teaching is very prophetic the next 10 20 minutes that we're getting into i like you to be sensitive to the things that i'll be sharing because i'm going to be speaking prophetically and i sense in my spirit that whilst you listen to me for many of you it will be as it were i think in acts chapter 10 now and verse 44 or so that while peter yet spake these things the holy ghost fell on them which heard his word i believe that for some of you right now there are destiny activations as i will be teaching right now hear me there are there are many things it is it is from the bowels of your spirit deep is calling on to deep Play the violin for me.